Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, bringing you guys a new Titanfall informational video regarding the pros and cons of the game and suggestions that I have for Titanfall 2. After playing Titanfall for quite a while, I feel like I have some sort of opinion on the game so far and at least have validity in my argument with this game. Now, in no way I'm saying that this game is bad. I mean, the pros outweigh the, the cons in every single way, but Mostly, I'm giving this some suggestions for Titanfall 2 to make the Titanfall franchise blow everything else out of the water as the number one first person shooter ever. Now, I went into Titanfall with one of the most highest expectations that I've ever had in a video game, falling shortly behind Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto was just a whole nother level of expectations with that, and they actually exceeded it, which is just, it blew my mind, and everything in that game was crazy amazing how they just did such a good job on that but i'm getting off topic titanfall i went in with some very high expectations and they were met so i have no reason to be complaining about the game but really as i'm playing it more i start to notice some things that if they were to add it it would just make the game amazing you know they had such a great concept with the game the whole titan combat the whole um incorporation of verticality in the game and, and double jumping and wall running all that the, it was beautiful concept and beautifully executed they did such a good job with that but what they messed up on was stuff that you know every first person shooter should know like you know you're doing a math problem and you know the equation you know all the variables you pin them in correctly but you just mess it up on a little subtraction problem or a little addition problem and it screwed the whole thing up now i didn't say that the whole game is screwed up but i'm saying it's just something like smack on the forehead like why didn't they think of that like really but then I think about, okay, well, there's all this other stuff to think about, and then I get over that situation. But really, in terms of Titanfall 2, they can make a game where there will be no smacks on the forehead. And so I made a list of some things that they should add in Titanfall 2 to make it just amazing. Now, I'm going to start off with things that they should fix that is currently in the game and stuff that they should add. Now, in terms of stuff that they should fix, they really need to work on gun balance. Currently, just the classes are already made for you. For example, like the R101C carbine is the best weapon and the secondary, the, the RE45 auto pistol is the best one and the frag grenade is the best one and as for the Titan, the chain gun is the best one and the nuclear ejection is the best one and, and, and I'm not saying that it is the best one but it's just for most situations the better one to choose and they really need to work on that. Now from what I heard, Respawn Entertainment is consistent of old employees from Infinity Ward and Infinity Ward in their games has a reputation of gun balance issues as well like from MW3 um, the ACR was the best of the assault rifles the MP7 was the best of the submachine guns the striker was the best of the shotguns the MSR was the best of the snipers the dual FMG 9s were the king of the secondaries like they had some issues with balance in the game and same with MW2 like the SPAS 12 was just crazy overpowered so I'm not sure if that's something that they can fix I think it's just kind of in their blood to not really know how to make a balanced game now I'm not saying that the R101 C carbine and all that stuff is all overpowered it's not it's just a situation where it's like why use the other guns when this one's the best one so they need to work on that that should be something they sh that they should get help with in titanfall 2 just make sure that they have more guns to choose from so in that way your class is actually something that you have to sit down for 30 minutes and think about what you're going to make your class so another thing that they need to fix they need to fix the campaign it was such a great concept that whole incorporation of multi player in it it was such a great idea and they had just the very bare bones of it in Titanfall 1 and it was just poorly executed they needed more to it there wasn't a storyline or I'm there probably was but whatever it was I I wasn't paying attention to it because it just was not that interesting it had no emotional attachment to any sort of character within the game which is essentially in every story every movie every campaign there's always some sort of attachment that you need to have but in Titanfall it was just kind of 
war, really, between Militia and IMC. That, that's what it was. And, I mean, it just felt repetitive, and it, it wasn't that well executed, so they need to fix that. I think, really, it may have been a budget cut. I mean, it's a new company, and really, their only funding is from EA and maybe Microsoft Studios, who probably paid them a lot of money to make this an exclusive onto the consoles, which I will get into uh, later in the video. But they need to work on the campaign a little bit more. And with a bigger budget on Titanfall 2, because I'm sure they made a lot of money off of Titanfall 1, they're going to have a lot more opportunities to do stuff like this. One thing that they need to fix is not making the whole game completely online. And they could have had like a survival game type or private match, which is something that every first person shooter should have. They need to have a private match, something that you can screw around with your friends in or something. Another thing that they should fix is not making it exclusive to Xbox and PC. In order for this first person shooter to completely consume Call of Duty and Battlefield and stuff like that, it needs to be multi-platform. It's just shutting the door on opportunities to make more money by um, making it exclusive to a console. Now, from my perspective, I think this might not have been their choice. They might have opened up a new company, called it Respawn Entertainment, and went up to the world and said hey here's our game idea we have an idea for a first person shooter where it's got titans they're robots and stuff like that and they told the world their game idea and microsoft went up to them and said hey we love your game idea but we also know that you don't have enough money to fund it and we will make an agreement with you saying hey we'll give you uh, money to fund it at the cost of making it an xbox exclusive now i'm not sure if it's some sort of contract with xbox to make it an exclusive like that but in terms of Respawn's perspective, if you don't have enough money to make this game and someone goes up to you and offers to fund the game for you, I mean, you can't say no to that. So that may have not been their choice. So moving it to the PlayStation might not be a possibility, but if they did, that would be great because now they have enough money to expand their workforce in the company and be able to port it over to PlayStation stuff with the new employees. But there might be a contract between Microsoft and Respawn Entertainment to keep it on the Xbox and that's something that you can't break no matter how much money you have. Now stuff that I recommend they add in order to increase the replay value of the game which in every game is a requirement. You need to have replay value in the game. They need to add customization. Every game needs to have customization. It's what gets people wanting to play the game. If they receive customization options like gun camos, player camos, titan camos, titan armor, you can customize your titan the way it looks like um, Halo Reach where you can change the look of your character and stuff like that. If you could do something like that with the titan, that would be amazing. That would be a whole whole another crazy realm of customization that you could do. It, there'd be so much room for opportunity and they missed it. They didn't do any customization besides some attachments and stuff. They need to add that. Every single successful game that you can think of has a sort of customization in it. Call of Duty has camo customization on your weapons and just recently they added customization on the players. They had customizable player cards and stuff like that. Battlefield has customizable vehicles, weapons, and player camos and stuff like that. Uh, Grand Theft Auto, hugely successful game and had a huge amount of customization in it. Customization is the key for an instant double in replay value so you need to add that especially with the fact that there are these titans there's so much room for customization so they need to like 130 percent need to have customization in titanfall 2 another thing that they need to add like what i discussed earlier some sort of offline fun uh something that you can screw around in like survival game type or something where you try to survive a whole bunch of waves of auto titans and stuff like that that would be something that would be pretty fun to play with your friends and stuff something that allows you to connect um in offline mode that's that's something that will increase the replay value when you're getting frustrated with online Online, which all online games you can get frustrated with because a lot of scenarios you'll be dying repeatedly and with Titanfall there's nothing to fall back to I mean there's only multiplayer so having a private match or a survival game mode or anything that's offline and essentially easy to play um, is good to add another thing is a big thing just 
more stuff in general more guns more perks more titans attachments in a big one more game types they just need to have more stuff now this might have been from budget cuts as well i mean this is a small company with their first game and it just happened to be a really really good game um but in terms of titanfall 2 now that they have the money to make it they need to add more stuff that's that was a big hitter for titanfall 1 the fact that you were very limited on what you could have there was only three titans i mean there were like three three sights that you could put on your guns and then there was like uh, three barrel attachments that you could put on your gun and that was really it. I think there's only like nine or ten guns and the all the other perks and ordinances and stuff there's only like eight or something tier one and tier two perks and then a big one is more game types. They only have five game types right now so they need to have more. Something to fall back to when you're bored of uh, a game mode like right now I feel like I've played all the games modes enough like attrition is something that I've already seen in last Titan standing that's really the only unique game mode to Titanfall that nowhere else is seen and when you only have one what happens when you get bored of that there's not much else to play I mean there's hard point which is um, good but it's all just generic game modes they need to have more of them increasing the replay value once again and the last two things that they need to add are just minor little things to help increase the balance of multiplayer that um, other games like battle field I think and Call of Duty uses um, the fact that there's no team scrambling between games they need to add that because right now if I'm stuck on a team that consistently loses like I'll be playing hardpoint and I'll just have a bunch of teammates that just won't do anything and so we'll lose the game terribly like a hundred to four hundred and then because there's no team scrambling I'm forced to just back out and research for a game because it's not like the team scrambles so like the good players on the other team they will always be on the enemy team so if I were to just wait until the next game started I would be stuck with the same teammates and there's no fluctuation in who wins another thing that they should do is they should link you with other players based on an average between KD win loss ratio score per minute and level now I don't necessarily have a problem with this but I'm noticing that me being generation 3 I'm consistently still getting linked with players who are even sometimes level one and that you should never see I mean I'm not necessarily complaining but if I were that level one guy I wouldn't be a happy fellow so consistently my KD is like four because I'm constantly linked with lower level less skilled players now I, I don't know what it's like for generation 10 people but right now the lobbies are very vast I'll see level 10s and then I'll see generation 7s and 8s and 9s like it's crazy so they need to have something where you're linked with similarly skilled and leveled players in order to keep the game a challenge and once again increasing the replay value because if you're consistently dying or if you're consistently killing people it it gets boring fast you need to have have situations where you'll have a good game you'll have a bad game you'll have maybe two good games in a row and then two bad games in a row um so in that way you're consistently playing the next game with effort and having to strategize and work with your teammates and really play the game the way it's meant to be played so those are all my suggestions for titanfall 2 titanfall 1 is still an amazing game i'm playing it right now and i can't wait for titanfall 2 whenever that comes out probably in a couple of years but I'm making this video very early so in that way when the game developers start looking for suggestions in the very early concept stage they'll have some ideas to work around from this video so also I recommend spreading this video around to maybe leading to the respawn entertainment developers so in that way we can get this information out there also comment down below what you guys think should be added in Titanfall 2 so in that way if any respawn developers were to see this video they can also look in the comments down below to see what you guys suggest because any game that's run by the community is going to be the best game because it's played by the community. So that is all I have for now. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that jiggers because new life is boom. He's out.
Your heart is strong, made of gold Yeah.